Now, just for good measure, I want to go ahead and write out one more of these. So let's write out the second order one. F2 uh, of x equals uh, L naught of x uh, times F naught of x plus L1 of x times F1 of x uh, plus F2 of x L2 of x. All right, great. Now let's come up with our and now let's come up with our polynomial. So we go L naught. First of all, L naught. Now it's of course it's not going to be the same L naught as we came up with over here because we have a different index. We have to go to a higher n. Okay. Uh, although it, it's going to it's going to be similar. It's got to have a whole another term on there, right? Uh, so we're going to say that is equal to L naught. All right. Well, L naught L. So uh, I. All right. What is I? Well, I is is zero. We're starting at zero because we're going i equals zero to n. So i equals zero. So we're going l naught l zero of x uh, j equals zero and then i equals zero. Okay. So we have to skip that first one. So then we have to go x and so now we have to go to one. So j is equal to one. So x minus x one uh, x minus x one divided by x i minus x j. So that would be x naught minus x one, and now we have to do the same thing except we have to increment uh, j again. So j is not equal to one. Now it's equal to two. So that'll be x minus x two divided by uh, x not minus x two. Right? I equals zero. All right, and that's times f of x. Uh, yeah, f of x not. Uh, plus L1, all right, L1, L1, j equals zero. Okay, so we're going to have the first term, and then we're going to have the, the, uh, we're going to skip the next term. We're going to have the zeroth term, skip the first term, then have the next one. So that'll be x minus xj, and so j is equal to zero. So x naught divided by uh, x naught. Um, well, let's see, divided by xi. That'll be minus x naught uh, x i, and so i now here is um, well i is still i is one, right? Yeah, we incremented i to one, uh, and then we have we skip the next one because otherwise we would have x one minus x one, uh, but then we have x minus x two then over x1 minus x2 and that's times f of f of x f of x1 yeah I wrote all these down wrong not f2 of x that's not f not of x that is f of x1 f of x, f of x not x1, x1, x2, x2. Perfect. All right. Now we have one more term plus, and we're going to skip the last one. It'll just be the first two. So that'll be x minus x, uh, xj. So that'll be x minus x2 divided by, oh no, that's not 2 because j starts at 0. x minus x not over. Uh, x i, so i is two x two minus x j x zero uh, x minus x one divided by x two minus x one, and that is going to be multiplied by f of x two, and that then is our second. Uh, ordered uh, Lagrange interpolating polynomial and again we have this situation we should have the situation right where if we plug in because all this is multiplied by f of x1 all this by f of x2 all this by f of x0 and so we're blending the three together but when we're right on one of these points when we're right on x1 uh, we should get all this being one so let's see if we do x1 minus x0 um, over 
x1 minus x0, that'll be 1. x1 minus x2 over x1 minus x2, that'll be 1. So, so again, we have the same thing, and then we, uh, that would be a 1 here if we're right on x1, and then this would be a 0, and this will be a 0. So again, the intuition behind the Lagrange interpolating polynomial is uh, that the closer you are to the f of x, the, high, the more heavily it gets weighted, and the further away you are, the, the lighter it gets weighted.